one of the weirdest things in space is something called spaghettification. So what is it and how does it actually happen? Well, spaghettification is a reaction to gravity, but spaghettification can really only be properly seen at the extreme forces of the gravity of the black hole, where an object falling into a black hole is stretched out. But, oddly, the object doesn't actually increase in volume as it's being stretched out. The basic principle is the closer you are to the source of gravity, the stronger the pull of the gravitational force. So, standing on the surface of the Earth, your feet are experiencing a slightly stronger force of gravity than your head. On Earth, because the gravity is relatively weak, you're standing on a solid surface, we're also used to Earth's gravity, we don't notice the difference. In theory though, if you were doing a parachute jump and during a period of free fall you were in a vertical position, you might actually start to experience slight spectification. However, during a free fall, most jumpers have other things on their mind to focus on. Now, the person's falling feet first into a black hole, then the extreme levels of gravity start to dramatically stretch out the body. So since the feet are nearer the source of gravity, they experience a greater pull and so accelerate quicker towards the black hole. But since they're also accelerating faster towards the black hole, they're now even nearer the black hole, so experience a greater pull of gravity. The result of this process becomes more extreme the longer the body is actually subject to the pull of gravity. Eventually, the body looks like a long strand of spaghetti, hence spaghettification. However, now we come to the really weird bit. As I said earlier, during spaghettification, the body doesn't actually increase in volume. So the body is being stretched out. How come the volume remains the same? Well, understanding this is down to how we perceive gravity on Earth difference between that perception of gravity, what's really going on. While on Earth we tend to think of gravity as pulling us in the vague general downward direction, and that someone standing a short distance away from us experiencing the same force of gravity in the same direction as us. However, that isn't quite the case. Gravity is pulling you towards the centre of the mass of the Earth. And while that may appear to be the same direction to someone quite close to you, in reality the force is in a slightly different direction. Let's be seen when you consider somebody standing on the opposite side of the world to you. Now, obviously, they're still experiencing the pull of gravity down towards the centre of the Earth, but now you can see that that pull is in a totally different direction to what you are experiencing. It's possible to view this experience of gravity as each individual person is standing on their own personal gravity cone, the point of the cone being the source of gravity, and the volume of the cone covering the whole area of the body including things like the hips and shoulders. The cone then flares out beyond the body, so when you fall out into a black hole, it's like you're falling down your own personal gravity cone, almost like a slide in the park. Now the cone starts out as quite a wide cone, and as you fall down the cone, the width gets progressively narrower. The direction of pull of gravity is slightly different direction on one shoulder than the other. The edges of the body, like the shoulders and the hips, as well as moving down towards the source of gravity, they're also moving towards each other. The overall effect on the body is a longer, narrower body as you fall towards the black hole, making it even look more like a piece of spaghetti. So even as you're being stretched out, your body maintains the same volume as it had before you started to fall into the black hole.